All right, so I'm back with another software tutorial. Well, kind of showing you this cool software that's been out for at least, as far as I can remember, five years. Um, let me just get to it. It is called AMP Win Off. It's a cool piece of software that allows you to um, turn your computer off in 20 minutes, half an hour after it's gone um, IDL, like it's not doing anything and stuff like that. So let's, without further ado, load it up. So as you can see here, we've got many options. We've even got a date and time, so you can tell it to turn off at, every day at five o'clock and start from what date. So every day at five o'clock plus 30 minutes, don't forget to change this to zero if you're gonna use that setting. And then we've got intervals and turn off every four hours. So if you turn it on and I don't know, you work for 10 minutes and you forget to turn it off and walk away, then it turns off. User inactivity. So if there's no input for 10 minutes, it'll turn off, which is pretty handy if you leave it on and you work and then you get a phone call and you have to disappear for like 10 hours. Um, I should imagine that should save you some metric. And then you've got CP load. So um, let's say you're um, zipping up 10 gigs worth of data into a zip and you just want it to turn off after it's done. You can say if it drops below 5% CPU usage, it'll turn off, which is pretty handy again. And then you've got a network transfer tool. So if you're transferring, I don't know, 10 terabytes across a network, then you need to be out, and then you can obviously tell it to turn off after one megasecond, but uh, be careful with that, because I've seen network transfers drop it way below that. And then you've got your shutdown type, you've got power off, lock screen, and closed session, um, and stuff like that. Whatever you do, don't use sleep, because if it does a Windows update, then you go to sleep, and you turn it on, you get a blue screen of death. Or hibernate. Um, I'd do an admin restart or an admin shutdown, these two. And then you've got um, different conditions, like you can have it so you need all three of these to activate it, at least one of them or something like that. And then you've got your, once you've ticked whichever setting you want, you've got your activate there. Then you can save settings for next time and you can abort it. And you can set it so it puts a little timer in the bottom right hand screen for you. And you've got other options here. So you've got load on startup. Um, you've got disable stuff. Ask for confirmation. So it'll warn you. It'll say this is going to shut down in five seconds. And these are the other settings you can use. You've got a force close if some um, applications don't close. Um, you've got tons of settings here. Loads of them. Display warning snooze so you can change it but alert sounds all sorts and then you've got other administrative options here so if you've got many users you can tick that um you can use the same settings for every user so it goes off after four minutes um you've got you can enter a password here so if you've got another user on your computer they can't disable the shutdown no matter what you got all sorts of cool things. Restart program if um, somebody's hacked it and managed to shut it down. Um, what to do if it... stuff like that. Anyway, it's called Amp Power Off. And I shall get you a website. Here's a website. It's a tangy greeny orangey colour. And then you've got your updates for whatever software you want. Um, they also do um, other software, so be careful what you download. But it's all there. Anyway, if you think that's a cool piece of software, let me know uh, in the comments. See you later. Bye-bye.